what's going on guys JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update this time we're going to be discussing all the ins outs and contract news at Manchester City since we did our last update remember rightly in our last update we talked about Luka Jovic uh, of um, Frankfurt so we've got updates on him and other players so we're going to crack on with this video and we're first going to talk about some negative news the Sun's been reporting that Manchester City uh, are going to get a transfer ban it's going to last for two windows it's incoming within days to a couple of weeks away which isn't good news Manchester City do have the right to appeal this decision of course Manchester City were hoping that if they could appeal this decision then they'd be able to get the summer window to be able to sign three or four players bring in the players then we don't actually need a transfer window for two windows and then we'll be able to cope by signing in the players over the next couple of seasons like that Chelsea have been found guilty of the same thing they've got a transfer ban for two windows um yeah they've appealed it's been rejected so the Chelsea now aren't going to get the two windows to be able to sign players so it's uh, going to end up costing them making a lot of progress it uh, may well cost them getting a new manager bringing a new manager in loads of stumbling blocks and it could well be the same for Manchester City here we're obviously needing desperately a defensive midfielder with just Fernandinho that can play in that role of being a holding defensive midfielder and also Manchester City we're looking at a centre back a left back possibly a right back possibly an attacker too uh, which will obviously go down the drain and I was looking forward to the summer and having plenty of content with City signing three or four players that would give me plenty of content right through the summer uh, and it could about to, to be go, going away so I'll keep you up to date with uh, what's happening with that transfer ban the transfer bans in terms of the transfer from uh, Watford for Jaden Sancho uh, apparently some irregularities going on with that transfer I'm sure we'll get more details on that and City are also being investigated about uh, some African academy and sending players to Norgeland and Manchester City apparently making some money on that and that's what that third party investigation is from the Premier League as well as the UA for financial fair play and the Premier League financial fair play so we're getting it from all angles at this moment in time but I'll keep you up to date with all the latest in my transfer updates for the transfer bans and also in the Manchester City latest news so make sure you do stay tuned for that we're going to crack on as normal because at the moment in time as it stands we're not in a transfer ban so in sources in the Netherlands have been saying that matches delete the world-class uh, Ajax centre-back he's close to joining Barcelona Ajax wants 70 million euro you're looking at around 60 65 million pounds City are interested but I'd be very surprised if we did sign him going off that price he said he wanted to work with Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong's already gone to Barcelona, and I'd say de Litt's off to Barcelona too. So, as far as I'm concerned, I'd say that transfer's near enough over. We're going to move on. The Sun have been reporting that Manchester United want Aaron Wan Basaka of Crystal Palace. £40 million pounds they want to make a bid of. Now, if we want a right back, surely that we should be considering a £40 million pound 21 year old English right back. He's had a very good season with Crystal Palace in the Premier League, and he'd be a very good backup with Kyle Walker. Uh, there were some concerns over right back, but but uh, Kyle Walker seems to be improving a lot over the last couple of weeks. We've also got Danilo there, so I wouldn't say right back's uh, an immediate position that we need to be going for, but it'd be a big blow um, with Juan Basaka, a good player, going to Manchester United, and we're not even fighting for him, but there we go. I said we'd have an update on Luka Jovic. Now, the Metro, um, they've been reporting that Manchester City do want Luka Jovic of Frankfurt. They want £40 million, apparently. That was in our last update. He's currently a Benfica player. Frankfurt have the option, five years, uh, five million pound they want to sign him for, then be able to sell him for profit. 21 years old, banging gold in for fun in the Bundesliga. He currently scored at the uh, midweek in the Europa League to send Frankfurt through. And there is genuine interest. City have been scouting Luka Jovic, so there is genuine interest there. But we're not the only club that's after him, apparently, again. We might be losing out to Barcelona. Where's Barcelona getting all this money from? Hmm, there we go. Now, sources in Spain have been saying that Alex Grimaldo, the 23-year-old uh, left-back, is very small, very small left-back, is a target for Arsenal, and apparently Manchester City interested too. Uh, we're looking for some stability at left-back. Why would be in for an injury-prone left-back that's 23? What's the point in having an injury-prone Mendy and an injury-prone Grimaldo too? Doesn't make sense. I presume that's paper talk. And last but not least in the ins, Manchester City was scouting Thomas Estevez, FC Porto youth right back. Apparently he's available for eight and a half million pounds as long as Manchester City sort that transfer out before the summer. He's 16 years old, he's got all the bags of potential. City was scouting him in the UEFA Youth Champions League. Apparently they're very impressed, so we'll keep an eye on that one. I'm not too sure uh, if Manchester City might try and sort the transfers out before the transfer ban hits. Obviously Man City are in, uh, can't sign players for the next two windows, yet the window isn't open yet, so um, <laughs> I'm not too sure if City will be looking for loopholes going with all the allegations that's going round. We're going to move on to the outs. 
Well, I didn't have any out news, but I did see rumours floating around with Aguero being linked with Real Madrid again. It's just a lie. It's been confirmed that that's just a lie. This has just been mentioned because literally I have no out news, so I like to put at least a little bit of out news in there. So that's that. I imagine as we go into the summer, with terms of out news I'll have, I'll be able to do videos on players leaving, probably on loan. I don't imagine Man City will be selling any players, but there we go. Uh, might have a couple of updates out over summer. I've got my fingers crossed that we're, we've we got a full window here to go at because um, it's a big blow for Manchester City. We do need some players. Players are getting no younger um, and it leaves us a bit short, if I'm honest. So, yeah, hopefully we can have a window to sort it out. I imagine Chelsea will be looking for the same. In the contract news, Gundogan's still not signing a deal. Less than 18 months to go on his deal. He won't sign as yet. He's weighing up his options for his career. He said that his next contract's going to be his last in his peak. He wants to make the right call and he doesn't want to rush into a decision. He's happy to run down his contract. Now, Manchester City, they've got a contract extension ready for Gundogan to sign. He's got German clubs interested in him too. I'm hoping Ilkay Gundogan had signed. He's been vital over the last few weeks and months for Manchester City. He's a useful player to have in our midfield. And considering we've got a transfer banning coming, I think we need to be securing Ilkay Gundogan down. Same with Leroy Sane. And now, um, I know Ilkay Gundogan wants to weigh up his options. Um, I'm not too sure if he's unsettled at Manchester City or whether he thinks he can get more playing time anywhere else. I'm not too sure what the situation is, but um, I'm keeping... My fingers crossed that Gundogan does end up signing a new deal. I rate Gundogan. I think he's a very good player. And I'd love for him to stay for more years at Manchester City. So fingers crossed he does end up signing a new deal. Now Bernardo Silva, in better news, has signed a new contract extension at Manchester City. He's going to be staying here until at least 2025. Six more years of Bernardo Silva. This has fended off serious interest from Real Madrid. Which is very good news. He couldn't wait to commit to Manchester City. So that's the commitment that we want. Hopefully we can have Sane and Gundogan next. And I've just heard some flickers going round over the last day or so that Oleksandr Zinchenko is set to be rewarded for his fine performances at left-back, as he should, with a brand new contract at Manchester City reflecting his impressive performances, which will all but end the rumours of him uh, leaving in the summer. And considering how impressive Zinchenko had been and his willingness to work hard and get into the Manchester City team, he'll play literally anywhere. We want more players like that. He has shown that... If you are patient enough and you're willing to work hard and you're willing to play anywhere and uh, do your job, then the world's your oyster for a football player. And he's got bags of potential. He's a very good passer. He's a good crosser of the ball. He's got an attacking mind on him. Um, and he, honestly, he's helping ease the left-back situation that we've got at this moment in time. We had Fabian Delph last season ease the situation. We've had Zinchenko this season. And Zinchenko's got youth on his side too. So hopefully he'll be signing a new deal. Hopefully by the time I put out the next transfer update. So there we go. It's been the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, leave a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, do you want Manchester City to sign Luka Jovic? Do you want Manchester City to be in for Wan Bissaka? Do you want Manchester City to offer a new contract to Gundogan? Do you want rid of him? I have no idea. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to press the red button, subscribe, press the bell and put your push notifications on to be notified when I've uploaded so you can stay in the loop with all things football and Manchester City news. We're aiming for 2,500 subscribers so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Thank you everyone for the support so far. If you want to go check out my social media links, my Twitter and Instagram in description below if you want to go and follow me on there. I'll also have it popping up somewhere at the bottom too. If you've got to search for me, follow me on there. That'd be great. Keep up to date with JSGC and keep up to date with the latest football and Manchester City news. Then go and follow me on them social media platforms. And I'll see you all again for the next video. We'll have the analysis up tomorrow of the Swansea game in the FA Cup. Hopefully we can have progress with that and then we're going to have some loan reports transfer updates up throughout the international breaks. So stay tuned for that. So it's been JSGC. Hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day. Hoping a transfer ban isn't uh, coming to Manchester City. I'll see you all again for the next video. Peace. Ciao for now.